assists for his teammates. Third place goes to our very own football heaven, Emmy Gwendia. Now to the back for City, he has held the team to 12 clean sheets and kept the team to the second half of the season. In second place is Christoph Zimmerman! Zimmerman got my vote, but I didn't actually vote. Zimmerman was my number one for player of the season. There he is, just off in the Timu Fuji Timu I don't see a Germany flag. Tom, I don't see a Germany flag. We got all the Germans, but no Germany flag. Oh, there is one. There. Oh, there is one. Germany flag. Well, there we go, team player this season, Team Ubuki. There's a lot of players could have won it though. Like, if any one of our players playing last year would have won it. Well, maybe. Would have at least been comfortable second. We don't play like that last year, but oh well. Uh, so yeah, now we just wait for the match. Uh, only change is tribal out and branches in. Looking forward to seeing that. Yeah. Uh, can't wait to see the match. Last time game of the season, we gutted. This season is basically over for Norwich, but looking forward to next season in the Premier League. It's going to be exciting. It's going to be so good. Uh, let's hope that we can win. Uh, Sheffield United won. Did they win in the end? So you know, like so, Norwich going to happen. Yeah. So we go into this match second, which is the first time in probably like two months. I think that we've gone into a match not first. Yeah. Why are we, why are we clapping someone money not to take? Okay, we're clapping everything today. We're just we're going with it. Um, so yeah, let's get into the hopefully get into the match. Hope, hopefully win and win promotion. Come on, on the horse.
This is literally the match finished half an hour ago. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> so, have some well, lighting now. On a horse. What a great team to support. We got lined up when deer and road. Team of Pookie can't stop scoring goals. As you can tell, yeah, we're a bit happy. This time I've decided to put my light on. Uh, yeah, so, we're up. Finally, uh, we should have been up. Long ago, in fairness, but... <laughs> yeah. Finally done it, come on. We're there now. Get in. Luckily, we were good enough over the first 38 games or whatever, so we could afford that four-game struggling. Uh, but yeah, so we're up. Uh, I'm so out. We are so going up, so we are going up. It's, it's, it's the, only the third time in the club's history we've reached over 90 points. Yep. So, I mean... That's and awesome it's to be alive. the what a great time to be alive. <laughs> it's um, the first uh, first time since in 59 years that Nigel been promoted at Carrow Road. Mm. You're talking like literally more than double my life ago was the last time. Yeah. So, and, like, what did we see? Like the most expensive signing we've had and, in in uh, Stuart Webber. Webber. But yeah, Stuart Webber's been in is 1.8 million pounds. Yeah, I know Hernandez. Which is insane. Like last season, we had more expectation. This is the thing I find really funny. Last season, we had more expectation, and we finished 14. This season, we had no expectation, <laughs> and we tough. finished. At, well, I mean, we've not finished yet, so we might still finish second. But well, we're up. Yeah, yeah. We're up. So we're, we're, we're going to finish in the top three. So I mean, it's ridiculous. But I yeah. didn't expect that at the start of the season. I so thought I said mid table, low mid table. Yeah, I thought top it's, half. It's insane. Uh, yeah, so happy. I feel, I feel like I owe an apology to uh, Timu Puki mostly, because when he came in, I was uh, very underwhelmed. I knew he didn't really do that much at Celtic. Fair, I think a lot of people were. No one yeah. would have said, oh, Timu Puki's going to score you 28 goals this season. No. But <laughs> I, I, think, I think his move to Bronby certainly did him a brilliant, yeah. brilliant career move. Uh, and now he's he's scoring goals in the championship for fun. And now he's in the Premier League. We'll see how he does. Yeah. You know, I mean, I don't think the expectation is going to be on too many people, to be honest, because I think without everyone suit us, is going to expect us to go straight back down again. Except so, us. I don't think we will go back down. I mean, we've got to see who we sign. I think as well. But yeah, we've got to uh, we've got to believe. I think like Daniel Daniel we've got Farker to play will as well as we have this season. Keep working hard. That's all you can do. And uh, Farker will he'll he'll get the job done. Yeah, hopefully we can stay up. Yeah, so Life anyway. On a horse. We're going up. Uh, we are Premier League. We are Premier League.